This test is with distilled water, uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, which I'll put out here again, which comes to two teaspoons per gallon, and uh, two tablespoons of vinegar, which comes to uh, should be a quarter cup per gallon. I want to observe formation of particulates. So I'll let the test begin. Showing 81 degrees in the water. About 5 amps. So adding uh, Adding vinegar to the baking soda has uh, reduced its ability as an electrolyte. But we'll see how that picks up. While we're sitting around here, let's see what happens. Can we get them to light? A little bit. How about over here on the edge? Whoa, it flashed all the way around. Not much of a show. Still fun. At four and a half minutes, I notice that there's foam beginning to appear on the surface. I'm going to light it and see what happens. That was cool. At six and a half minutes, the foam has reappeared after igniting it. I realize that was untestworthy, but that's all right. Got to be childish once in a while. Uh, apparently, this mixture raises the surface tension, causing the bubbles to uh, stick around a little longer. I don't yet see anything that I would call scum, but the yeah, the bubbles are sticking around, they're, they're not popping as they surface. At 23 and a half minutes, I've got 113 degrees in the water. The amperage has risen to, looks like about 10. There is a tent in the water. The particulates haven't necessarily begin to form yet though and the bubbles are a little bit slow to pop but that's not necessarily keeping them from popping and of course we'll do the hydroxy experiment all cool at about 31 minutes I note that uh, whatever was causing the bubbles to sit on the surface before popping uh, seems to be dissipating. Um, the brown is progressing. It's too early to tell how much brown there will be. There's 122 degrees in the water. And about 10 amps. Plus it's uh, 120 degrees on the charger. At 37 minutes, I note that the particulate in the water has begun to coalesce and become visible. It's 128 degrees in the water, 10 amps current, 121 degrees on the battery charger. At an hour and six minutes I see some particulate settling on the bottom and it's progressing as it goes. I have 156 degrees in the water. 
looks like about 13 amps and 128 degrees on battery charger. At 1 hour 21 minutes and 30 seconds, I note there's 165 degrees in the water. Fourteen amps and 130 degrees on the battery charger. The brown particulate is distinctly finer than with just baking soda. So somebody's on to something with the uh, baking soda and um, vinegar combination. I'm going to run the test to 100 and, or excuse me, an hour and 45 minutes and then compare the amount of particulate with the uh, recipe I tried. I also note that once uh, steam becomes quite apparent, it interferes with flame. Although it does seem to be doing it right now. At an hour and 30 minutes, I see particulates. As usual, they're still fine. I've got 169 degrees in the water. 14 degrees on the ammeter, or excuse me, 14 amps on the ammeter, and 131, almost 132 degrees on the power supply. There's noticeably less brown particulate than just with baking soda. Okay, it's an hour and 45 minutes. I have 172 degrees in the water. Um, the brown particulate in the water is still very fine. There is some buildup on the bottom. I'm showing 14 degrees on the ammeter. 133 degrees on the battery charger, 80 and a half degrees ambient temperature. So that would account for it being a little cooler. And unless I'm mistaken, I conclude that combining Baking soda and vinegar reduces the amount of brown particulate. I will compare the two after this batch cools though.